Hello, ladies. Hi, Gates. What's up with her? Kelly? You awake? Oh, barely. Hey, Gates. Something wrong, Kelly? I just didn't sleep very well last night. How come? I don't know. I was just really restless. Something bothering you? Yeah, I guess. I've just been feeling pretty unsatisfied lately. Unsatisfied? Is that a word? <sighs> it is now. <laughs> I probably slept an hour last night. I just feel really discontented. Well, what are you discontented about? Is that a word? What? Discontented? Yes, that's a word. Just making sure. Kelly, why are you not content? I don't know. Well, you, you gotta know something. I mean, unless it's too personal. I, I don't wanna pry. No, it's not too personal. I just feel like my life is going nowhere. I mean, I've always wanted to be an actress, but I'm not sure that I know where I wanna be. What do you mean? I mean, we've, we've got a pretty good thing going here. No, I know. But I'm talking about acting in films. Ever since I was a little girl, I always wanted to be in movies. And don't get me wrong, I'm very grateful for acting here. You know, I'm, I'm acting full time. But there aren't any movie roles coming in. Well, Kelly, if, if there were movie roles coming in, I mean, with some of the stuff Hollywood is putting out there, I don't think there'd be a part for you as a Christian. I mean, a lot of that stuff is pretty immoral. Immoral. Now, is that a word? Yes, that's a word. Well, you're just a walking dictionary, aren't you, Gary? Well, you know, what can I say? <laughs> I'd still like to be in movies. It's always been my dream. Yeah, I know what you mean. I mean, I always wanted to be a movie star, too, when I was younger, but I kind of look at it differently now. I mean, it seems that celebrities have a high price to pay, and, and the trouble is that most of them may not know it. Yeah, I guess so. Hello, everybody. Hey, what's up, Travis? Hi, Travis. Did you guys happen to see the award show last night? Which one? What do you mean, which one? <laughs> Just what I said, which one? I mean, they got so many of them out there these days. The one that was on last night, Stephanie Wright won again. Man, that girl's got it made. Why do you say that? Well, she now has won Best Actress for three years in a row, and she is the only actress to ever do that. Plus, the announcer said that she is now the highest paid actress in the world, and she's only 27 years old. So old Kelly is. I thought women didn't tell their age. No, that's only if you're over 29, 27. I see. Travis, I didn't know you were interested in that sort of thing. Yeah, I'm not really. I just happened to be over at a buddy's house last night and they were watching it and I was just really amazed at how this young woman is like on top of the world the way she is. Some people get all the breaks, it seems. I mean, Stephanie Wright is very beautiful, very talented, and very wealthy. I wonder how it feels to have all that. It's nothing. No big deal. That girl is on a lucky streak. She'll be back to Earth in two years. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't imagine having all that money and all of that fame and being able to date anybody that you wanted to. You know, Travis, you're right. You can't imagine. Because it will never happen to you. <laughs> <laughs> like it would happen for you. Well, I can dream that I am the most talented, most handsome man in the world. Yeah, you can dream. Watch it, buddy. Like I said, that girl is on a lucky streak. Well, no, that girl is on the wrong road and don't know it, and doesn't realize it. And it would take a miracle from the Lord to even turn her around. Why do you say that, Gates? Well, because when you're a big movie star and you can have anything you want, the last thing you think you need in your life is Jesus. You know, the way I read my Bible is people sense their need for the Lord when they're down, not when they're on top of the world like she is. I wonder what it would be like to be Stephanie Wright. Well, Kelly, I can say with absolute conviction, you wouldn't like it. <laughs> well, while you guys carry on this conversation, I've got a scene I've got to finish for the show this week. So I'll see you later. Oh, now, wait a minute. Andy and I are in the scene with you. Well, then come on, then. My office is just right over here. <laughs>
best actress in a motion picture is... For the third year in a row, Miss Stephanie Wright. so much. First, I want to thank everyone who worked on this incredible film with me. And I want to thank everyone who voted for me. There is no way that I can tell you how much this means to me. And especially, thank you to all the fans I know that I wouldn't be here without you. Oh, I love you all. Thank you. Hope to see you here next year. How does it feel to win the Best Actress Award for three years in a row? Well, how do you think it would feel? <laughs> I think it would feel fantastic. Multiply that by three and that's how it feels. Ms. Uh, Ms. Wright, uh, some entertainment magazines have listed you as the most beautiful actress in the world. What do you think about that? I am so flattered that anyone would think that. And I do try to take care of myself, eating well and exercising daily. Miss Wright, right. is it true that actor Danny Wilson is dating you? <laughs> no one's dating me. I date whomever I want. And Danny and I have gone out a couple of times, but no, he's not my boyfriend. We're friends, nothing more. Uh, Miss Wright, Miss Wright, Wright, how does it feel to be the most famous, wealthiest actress in the world? I mean, your fans are swarming over you, you have men falling over you. How does this feel? It feels like I have been launched into orbit and haven't touched down yet. And to tell you the truth, I don't want to. Uh, Miss Wright, you are so famous and beautiful and wealthy. Is there really anything else you need to achieve? Oh, of course. I mean, there's, there's always bigger and better and farther and longer and whatever. Oh, thank you so much for your questions, but I have got a movie to shoot tomorrow. I've got a very early day. Thank you so much and love to everyone. Oh, Miss Wright, one more thing, Miss Wright, please. One more question, Miss Wright. Oh, that was a pretty big night for you, huh? Just another day at the office. Stephanie Wright, the world's most famous actress. <laughs> Do I detect a little jealousy? Jealous? Me? No way. I'm glad for you. I did feel a little slighted by that comment you made, though. And what comment was that, Danny? The one about me not dating you. Oh, well, that was a joke. Can't you take a joke? Yeah, I can take a joke, just not in front of the press like that. They take you seriously. They take everything you say seriously. Maybe you should, too, then. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, come on, Danny. I, I could have taken anyone tonight, but I chose you. I mean, there are literally thousands of men that would love to be on my arm. I mean, you should feel lucky. Can I ask you a question? Sure. You care about me? Of course I care about you. No, no, no. Do you really care about me, or do you just care about you? Look, Danny, you're my friend. You're not my husband. And like I said, I could have had anyone with me tonight, but I chose you. You should feel lucky. I mean, after all, I am the world's most famous actress. <laughs> and the loneliest. Miss Wright, I have the contract for your next film. Did you look it over? I did. Did you read it? Very well. Every word? Every word of it. It is the best contract you've ever received. You got everything you asked for. The producers didn't leave out anything. You should be very happy. I am happy. So what's the bottom line? The bottom line is you got what you asked for. Good. Go back and ask for another five million. What? 
You heard me. I didn't stutter. Go and ask for another five million. Stephanie, you are already receiving more money on this than any other film you've ever done. And what does that tell you? What do you mean? If I'm getting more money than I've ever made on any other film, and they found a way to get me what I wanted, they could certainly find another five million. If I have to go back to these producers and ask for an additional five million... Then they'll give it to you. They're gonna tell you to take a hike. They would never do that. Don't be so sure. Sometimes actors get too big for their own good. They get too famous, too greedy, and nobody will work with them, and they've got nothing. Think about it. Ten minutes, Miss Wright. Thank you. Do you know what scene you're shooting? I always know which scene I'm shooting. The director just wanted to be sure. Tell the director I always know which scene I'm shooting. Yes, ma'am. Excuse me. Yes? How many men are on set? I don't know. Guess. More than usual. <laughs> Figures. I guess word got out what scene you're shooting today. Why is it that every time we shoot a scene like this, the number of men on set increases? Let's just say that that's the price you pay for being a big movie star. Tell the director I need to see him. Yes, ma'am. What you need, Stephanie? What I need is for you to get those men off of the set before I film this scene. Stephanie, millions and millions of people are going to see you in this scene when it's released at the theater. What's a few more on the set? I don't want a bunch of... Just get rid of them. Steph, babe. What's gotten into you? You've done scenes like this before. Your last three films. Why do you think people really came to see them? Well, just for the record, it wasn't for the excessive violence. I'm not doing a scene with a bunch of peeping Toms on set. Do something about it. I need my crew, Stephanie. We are shooting a multi, multi-million dollar picture out there. Get rid of them. I can't do that. We shoot in five minutes. No. Five minutes. No! Stephanie, do you know how many women are waiting in line right now to replace you as the top actress in the world? And do you know how many of them would do this scene right now without saying a word? Five minutes. Sandoff Hotel. Yes, ma'am. Are you that famous actress, Stephanie Wright? No. Are you sure, ma'am? Yes, I'm sure. You look so much like her, ma'am. You got to be her. Well, I'm not. But you look exactly like her, ma'am. Would Stephanie Wright ride in a dingy old cab like this one? Uh, tried to keep my cab clean, ma'am, but no, she would not ride in my vehicle. Don't you think that she would be riding in a limo driven by a chauffeur? Yes, ma'am, I do. You're right. Sorry for the mistake, ma'am. But you do look a lot like her. Well, I'm not. Just drive, please. Are you doing all right tonight, ma'am? 
I'm fine. You look like you've been crying, ma'am. I said I'm fine. No disrespect, ma'am, but I would like to help you. Do me a favor? Yes, ma'am. Shut up and drive. You know, I guess it would be hard being a person like Stephanie Wright. Why do you say that? Because in Jamaica, there was a very famous actress in my country. She was beautiful, like you. And she was very well known. Sounds pretty good to me. No, ma'am, it wasn't. You see, even though she was beautiful and wealthy, and had a lot of money and could have any man she wanted, she was very unhappy and miserable. How so? Because being famous and having a lot of money and getting anything you ever wanted to have doesn't bring happiness. It actually brings emptiness. Emptiness? Yes, ma'am. People are looking for happiness, but they don't know how to find it. The Bible tells us how. Too many people are looking for happiness in the wrong places. This very famous actress did not have happiness, even though she had all the things that people think would make her happy. The Bible says there is one thing that brings lasting joy. And lasting joy is what people really want deep down inside. And how do you get that joy? It's in Psalms, ma'am. Psalm 16, verse 11. The Bible says, in the presence of God is fullness of joy. One simple verse says it all. In the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. And the Lord Jesus is the source of this real joy. No one else and nothing else can fill a person like Jesus. Only he can bring lasting joy. We're here. Drive around back. Don't park in the front. Sure thing, ma'am. What do I owe you? The fee is $25, ma'am. There, keep the change. That must be a mistake, ma'am. I said $25. This is a $100 bill. Just keep the change. But this would be the biggest tip I've ever gotten. I wouldn't feel right taking all of this, ma'am. No, just keep it. Thanks. Whatever you say, ma'am. And may you receive the Lord Jesus. Because if you do, you will find the joy that you're looking for. I lied to you. I am Stephanie Wright. Yes, ma'am. I know. And you were right. I have everything. I have nothing at all. I'm so empty. I prayed it. You receive Jesus. Hell. Please, ma'am, have a seat. You see, we must first realize that we have broken God's law and that we are sinners. And there is nothing we can do to redeem ourselves. That is why Jesus came and died on the cross. He died for our sins. He paid the penalty. And if we believe on him, the Bible says we shall be saved. God sends his Holy Spirit to live within us. We have the Word of God to teach us. We have the Spirit of God to lead us. Now, we can have real purpose and meaning in our life. 
How do I believe in him? It's by faith. We believe by faith. Faith gives God all the glory because it recognizes that God did all the work. What am I supposed to do? Pray to him. I don't know what to say. Just tell him what's in your heart. There is no formula to reaching God except a broken and contrite heart. I don't know what to say. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to hear the cry of this heart that now comes to you. In the midst of this city that never goes to sleep, please, Lord, do not turn a deaf ear to this young lady. You said in your word that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Well, Lord, there is one now calling upon you. Are you okay, Miss Wright? Are you okay? Kelly. Kelly, are you okay? Kelly, are you okay? Kelly. Oh, I must have fallen asleep. You must have had a bad dream. What did? I dreamed I was Stephanie Wright. The movie star? Mm-hmm. You were in my dream. I was. So it was Andy and Jamie and Travis and Rudy. What? You were all in my dream, only you weren't you, you were somebody else. The Jamaican cab driver was in there, too. The cab driver was in your dream? Yeah, he picked up Stephanie Wright and told her about Jesus. No kidding. Yeah, no kidding. Wow. That must have been some dream. It was. It just seemed so real. You okay? Oh, yeah, I'm okay. You sure? Yeah, thanks. Okay. Well, we've started doing another scene for the show, and we need you. I'll be right there. Hey, Kelly. You dreamed you were Stephanie, right? Yeah. How was it? It didn't seem like she had a good life to me. We should pray for her. I remember that. 